to death. Still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where is the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner, Nassan, disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Some Asaram girl applied to the city guard the other day. Amazing. This must be the sun's prime. Where the vanilla. You are a better hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glinthawks linger. There will be more where they came from. Yes. There will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. That's why I must leave the story. 
a monument to our vanished shamans, to the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it, preserve their memory against all that was cut away. You have my thanks, Hunter. This is where the Otaru wanted to say her goodbyes. again. Gonna have to run my boots dry. When we fled from our cages during the liberation, I tore through this clearing, thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running, but here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool. I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. I'll tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land. And she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests. <gasps> oh. What is it? There. Her bracelet. And... I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time, I am.
Must be the Shrine of Kings that Naman told me about. You won't get in there. That dried up old prune in a robe sees to that. I can be persuasive. But what does an Osram want with a Karja shrine anyway? It reminds me of someone. Gone two years now. But what does a girl like you know of loss? Try me. I had a lover. Worked on monuments to their bastard king. Then he gave them a show in their sun ring for good measure. The Karja gave me back his broken bones, but what use are they? They won't build again. They won't make me smile. And seeing a statue of the Mad Sun King will? I need to see his work again. The marks his hands carved. The set of the metals they hammered. That's the soul of him. But that shriveled up old priest won't let me near it. I'll see what I can do. Every time I go near the statue, he shouts at me. Osram slaves built that. Turn away, child. The abiding Jahaman wishes to be alone in his retreat. If you want to be alone, go someplace else. Others want to pray here. Defile it, you mean? Yet another debasement of what was once pure. Truly, our tribe has lost the light. Our king is false, our temple is corrupt, and our soldiers weak. The sun hastens across the sky for shame. So the Karja have become impure? What does that even mean? Is Meridian not meant for those who built it, who made it great? It was pure before outlander squatters took it over. You mean Meridian was pure when the outsiders were in cages or dying in your arena? The sun is pure, child. It is not our place to question its divine will, only to act upon it. I thought Avad taking the throne was the son's will. The boy dishonored his father. Dishonored us all. To kill a son king. What shadow, what twilight time he brought upon us. And how many more would the mad son king have killed if Avad hadn't stopped him? The son called for blood. There was no choice but to obey. You called the temple corrupt. But aren't you one of its priests? They call themselves sun priests, but they have no authority. Youths and sycophants all. Yet those who gave their whole lives to the sun's service are shamed and ignored. So that's what this is. A tantrum? A cry for attention? You know nothing of our rights, and yet you dare to insult me. Why do you think your army is weak? Because you're not at war with everyone? A Karja throne relying on forged dirt mercenaries? Preposterous! The so-called liberation was nothing but a purge. Our most blessed warriors, chased out of the city, exiled to Sunfall and the Forbidden West. Our tribe is torn. The ones who walked in light now go by shadow. And yet everyone but you seems happy they're gone. I'm done arguing with you. Stay or go, but I won't allow you to keep others away. 
I am here by the will of the sun. You don't believe in the throne, the priesthood, the army, or the city, so I guess you have no authority here. Uh, I have the authority of the sun. Then call it for help. No one else will listen. There'll be a reckoning. You'll back away from it. I wasn't sure about the sun at first, but uh, yeah, it's grown up. He gave them the best work he'd ever do. And look at it now. They defaced it because they hated what it stood for. They defaced a thing slaves like him lived and died for. Slaves they've already forgotten. Short-sighted bastards the lot. If they thought their son set off this bridge, they'd jump after it. I thank you for honoring my wish. I hope you can find peace. I wouldn't know what to do with it, any more than the Karja do. This mainspring. Charcoal smoke from a dozen forges. It would work. Hey. City guard the other day. Amazing. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, Trade. Let's talk it over. Don't pass it. Hope everything. Able bodied adventurers! Preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not too It's huge. So you've come back to the temple. I was invited back. The priests wanted to hear what I had to say about reconciliation with the other tribes. They're listening. At least they've begun to listen. There's a distance between ears and deeds. Because of what we did? What you did. It was for the mourners. I think it helped them you set them on the path you can't know what their journeys hold such is the priest lot perhaps a red robe would suit you <laughs> not me besides your temple doesn't even take women we would be richer if we did go in light my friend and let the sun cast your way thank you Naman. where i'm going I could probably use all the light I can get.
Can I interest you in a reasonable share of a lucrative opportunity? Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the savage lands. The sacred land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing, right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a Hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. You're Talana? A C said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks people I'm sorry to hear that it's part of the hunt is there any actual hunting in this lodge so far it's been all talk <laughs> yes of course you fight a machine then bring its trophy to a seize the Sunhawk then no one can deny you brought it down a cease what's his story he's the Sunhawk of the lodge the highest ranking asshole <laughs> sorry member He's taken down Ravagers, Stalkers, Behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes a Sunhawk. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place. No matter how anyone feels about it. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me? I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil.
something today. Don't pass up these goods. Go quietly. 